Hello, this is Dr. Beth Kitchen, and I'm an assistant professor of nutrition sciences at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm also the patient educator in our osteoporosis clinic. And this last week, I got a really interesting question from one of my patients that I wanted to share with you. Here's the question. If I'm lactose intolerant, can I use a whey protein supplement? Now, to answer this question, we really have to answer this question. What's the difference between a lactose intolerance and a milk allergy? And this is a question that I get all the time, and I also hear people using these terms interchangeably, and they're really not the same thing. So, let me explain. Here on the left, you've got a milk label. Now, as you can see, milk has a lot of different nutrients in them. We're going to focus on two of those nutrients, carbohydrate and protein. The carbohydrate that is in milk is lactose. And so this is where lactose intolerance comes in. You've got two major milk proteins, casein and whey. And this is where milk allergies come into play. So let's start with talking about lactose intolerance. And remember, here we're talking about the carbohydrate that is in milk. So let's start with what are the symptoms of a lactose intolerance? So if you have lactose intolerance, you might have bloating, you might get cramping in your abdomen, gurgling sounds, gas, diarrhea. Now, these are not really dangerous symptoms. Nothing bad's happening to you. They're just uncomfortable and maybe sometimes a little bit embarrassing. Here's what's happening in lactose intolerance. So I told you that lactose is the carbohydrate that's in milk. Well, this is what it looks like. This is the molecular structure of lactose. It's actually made up of two monosaccharides, so two individual units of sugars. One of those sugars is glucose, one is galactose. They're bonded together to make this disaccharide lactose. Now, when most of us drink milk, what happens is we have an enzyme called lactase. Lactase comes along and causes these two to break apart into two monosaccharides, so it separates them. We can then absorb them, which means that they can go from our intestines into the bloodstream, and we can use them for energy, and everything's fine. Well, some people don't make enough of this enzyme lactase. So they can't break apart this disaccharide. So it can't get absorbed into the bloodstream. Now, that may not sound like such a bad thing, but here's the problem. This disaccharide goes down into your lower intestine. The body tries to break those two things apart. It starts to ferment them. And that's what causes gas and diarrhea and bloating and all those uncomfortable symptoms of lactose intolerance. So basically, again, lactose intolerance, you're, you're not able to break apart that disaccharide and it just starts to cause all these rumbling symptoms in your gut. Now, if you have lactose intolerance, if you want to drink milk, you can. You can get a milk called lactate, and there are other brands as well. This is just the most popular one. And what they do is they basically put the enzyme lactase into the milk, and it digests the lactose for you. So a lot of my patients who are lactose intolerant and want to drink milk, they use lactate and they're just fine. Now you'll notice that lactate still says carbohydrate down here. This is the lactose. It still contains the lactose. It's just been separated for you, pre-digested. I know that sounds kind of gross, but it works really well. So if you want to drink milk, you can drink these lactase treated milks like lactate. Now, a lot of my patients who are lactose intolerant, they tell me, you know, yogurt doesn't cause me as many problems. I can eat yogurt. Now you'll notice, it's kind of hard to see, but you'll notice that yogurt, it says carbohydrate. It's, you can see it still has those same 12 grams of, of lactose in it because again, the carbohydrate in milk products is lactose, but those nice healthy bacteria that we find in the yogurt help to digest that for you. So some people with lactose intolerance can tolerate yogurt and can eat yogurt. Other people who are really extremely lactose intolerant, they can't handle yogurt. A lot of my patients can also handle hard cheeses like Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese. And that's because when you make cheese, you take the carbohydrate out of it. The lactose is found in the watery portion of the milk. And when you make cheese, you curdle it 
and that lactose goes away. So a lot of people with lactose intolerant can handle some cheeses. The harder the cheese, the lower the lactose and so they can tolerate that. Some of my patients will even use some of these little lactase pills. There are enzymes that you can take that can help you to digest the lactose. So there are a lot of interesting strategies. Now, if you really don't wanna drink milk, you can also use soy milk, almond milk, or not drink milk at all if that's what you would prefer. Now, let's talk about a milk allergy. A milk allergy has nothing to do with lactose. It's all about the protein in the milk. And there are two major types of proteins, casein and whey. Think about curds and whey with little Miss Muffet, right? So the casein is found primarily in the curds and the whey is found primarily in that liquid portion of the milk. Most people with uh, milk allergies, a lot of them are allergic to both of these, maybe just one of them. But the bottom line is that if you are allergic to milk, you have an actual allergic reaction, then you can't have any milk products at all. Here's the definition of a food allergy. A food allergy is an immune system response or reaction that occurs after eating a certain food, and even a tiny amount of the food can trigger the allergy. Let's take a look at some of the symptoms of an allergy, a true allergy to a food. And it in things like hives, wheezing, throwing up, difficulty breathing. Now look at some of the symptoms that can develop later with a milk allergy. Things like diarrhea, loose stools. These sound kind of like a lactose intolerance, right? So you've got to be really careful to get a proper diagnosis. Even if you're having the symptoms, I always ask my patients, what kind of symptoms are you having? And if it's gas, bloating, diarrhea, I suspect it's a lactose intolerance, but I tell them, I want you to get a proper diagnosis so we're sure that it's not a milk allergy. Now, with a milk allergy, again, because it's the protein, and the protein's going to be in all milk products, whether it's lactate, whether it's any kind of, of milk or dairy product, there's going to be that milk protein. So if you have a true allergy, you can't have any milk products. And I always teach my patients how to read labels because there might be milk protein in a product that's not even a dairy product because sometimes they're added. You'll notice this one says contains milk. If it says contains milk and you have a true milk allergy, then you really can't have that food, okay? So just keep that in mind. And remember, some of the symptoms of an allergy can actually be life-threatening, unlike a lactose intolerance. Again, lactose intolerance, uncomfortable, you can't digest that carbohydrate, but nothing really dangerous but the milk allergy can actually be dangerous and life-threatening because one of the, of the allergic uh, symptoms is anaphylaxis, where, anaphylaxis, where the, the, um, the breathing tubes start to close up. And so you can imagine how truly dangerous that can be. So get a proper diagnosis. So what's the answer to my patient's question? Well, if he's really just lactose intolerant, meaning that that's really his diagnosis and it's just the carbohydrate that's bothering him, a whey protein supplement, if it's truly just whey, and that is the protein, he should be absolutely fine with using a whey protein supplement because lactose intolerance is not a milk allergy and vice versa. I hope that helps some of you who may have a milk allergy or have lactose intolerance or not know what you have and I hope it helps you to get a proper diagnosis and then take the right course of action. Thanks so much. I'm Dr. Beth Kitchen.